Hi, this is video 261. I will check on Dennis making the pattern for creating lightning holes in the ribs for the port side trailing edge. Chris making the second half of the first former for the nose section. Aid and Andy finish off the FN5 turret. This is the turret which came from Cambridge a few weeks back as a donor for the turret rings for NX611. We start with Dave and Terry fitting new skins to NX611 rear fuselage. Time for lunch now. Fun? Time for lunch now. Time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? No, we're all right. Another 10 minutes yet. So where do you go now? You've started going down the um, formers, have you? Yeah, we did this top row first. Yeah. Start from the middle and work your way out. And then down all the formers one by one. And now we're into the, the middle stringer now. Because yeah. this former is a bigger diameter than the former at that end, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So how do you cope with that on the flat sheet? Well, that's why we start from the middle and as you pin it and work your way out, it pushes all the curvature Metal, out. out. Yeah. Yeah. And this, this panel's narrower this end than it is the other end. Yeah. yeah. You work the material out. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Just, just pin, do all, pin it, do all, pin it, and then it pushes it all the way out. Yeah. The key thing is to start from the middle. Yeah. And these are what, 10 foot long? Probably, yeah. Yeah, perhaps more. These are 15 and a half. Sixteenth of an inch, or fifteen and nine sixteenths apart. Do your maths now. <laughs> <laughs> we want to fill here. Yeah. Two thirty inches. Yeah. How many? Two. Each two of these is thirty inches, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Right. Change the drill. Why are you changing the drill? Smaller some, holes. Some holes are three thirty two, some are eight. Is that um, because they've been drilled out before or? Yeah, some of the formers had, um, I put the eight holes in them straight away, so. Oh, we've won it starting in the middle again, Dave. Middle again, yeah. I've been sacked now. Hey, I've been sacked. Yeah. You're on your holidays. Yeah, you've yeah, started, have you? You've already got your flip flops on. Yeah. Holiday mode. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, are you sending me a bit of paper? Show Nebby a bit of paper. Look. Got something to show you. Oh, right, yeah, I'll come and have a look at. Right then. Okay. This is our crit. <laughs> Having displayed in their eyes exceptional skills with the hammer, yeah. synonymous with a master bender. Exceptional hand skill. Exceptional hand skills. Wow, certificate. Of competence. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Yeah. Level one bender. Level, Level one, one bending course completed. It's all right then, isn't it? Oh, see structure there, yeah. yeah. Signed by me and John, look. Marshall and, oh, right, yeah. Yeah. yeah hey, this wow. is Red Wine Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Successfully angled the hammer yeah. and performed exceptionally well. Yeah, not many people get those awards. All right then, isn't it? Yeah. You know me? Yeah. I just need to get a frame for it now. Yeah. Didn't they give you a frame? No, did they? Oh. Tight. The thing is, Nev, that's only level one. Yeah, wait till he does the advanced. Oh, wait yeah. till of the advanced. Got that XL, isn't it? It's like bending to new heights, that does, yeah. yeah. Intermediate, <laughs> advanced. If he makes one or he happens to scrap one, do they take the certificate off him? Yes. Yes. Oh, hang on a minute. Don't be said out about that. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't buy a frame for it just yet. No. I'll keep it, I'll stand by on that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, well done, Chris. All right, isn't it? Yeah, eh? well done. Number Something to treasure. Got yeah. number two on the go. Yeah, there are not many people get that. Eh? <laughs> not many people get one of them. It's all right, isn't it? It is. He'll be on eBay next week. <laughs> how did you get? How did you get on with those patterns or forms you were making? Did they work? Yeah. Dennis is just going to turn the radio off. So we, the last time I showed Dennis making the formers. 
four inch there, five inch, from the six and the seven. <laughs> And these for, for the lightning holes and put in a the lightning holes in the in the ribs down there. Mm -hmm. the oh, yeah, these are the old ribs with the lightning holes in here. And these are what he's trying to make a tool so he can put these sort of lightning holes in the ribs. That's correct. And you made four inch former and five four inch. Four inch, five inch, six and seven inch. And they all work, do they? Yeah, these are all the trial runs these are. Yeah. Just to check it works. Yeah. yeah. So that's good then. Yeah. You didn't have any, uh, the, the metal didn't tear or anything like that. No. Crap. No. no, good. No, just keep it. How oh, did you cut your initial 7 inch hole in then? Um, with a sh I just chain drill it. Oh, did you? Yeah. And then I have a little like, um, a ream of cutter and you put it in and just go round. I oh, yeah. I can do any size you like. Yeah, I'll just change drill it all. What I'm doing with this one. So that way you put the yeah, just change drill it, it all yeah. round. Yeah. And I've uh, just got a little adapter. It goes in there and then that just clears it all out. Oh. And then got the thing. That'll clean that out. You can put that onto there, just run along it, take the roof off and then just finish it off with a yeah. file and a bit of um, yeah. well, stock plate. Is this one what will be bent or not? Or is this a just a flat? No, this is the backing plate. I see, yeah. This is the backing plate um, yeah. and then the, we'll make the wood, yeah. get the hole in, shape it in and then I'll get the material, the 25 there in this case. Put the hole out and then form it into the wood. Yeah. Similar. Same Similar to that. that, yeah. Same principle as that. Yeah. Oh, so you can crack on making the uh, bit further on, on with the uh, ribs and all that. Yeah. And this is for the trailing edge. Yeah. But <coughs> they can also get used for other ribs and that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're not fixed, are they? Yeah. No, no, it's not. They're not just yeah. specifically for that. Yeah. And if, they, if, if they'll match another one and they need one, then we've yeah. got them. Those so, are now going to tool stuff. Yeah. So the pattern is good for any thing on the Lancaster. Yeah. Oh. That's well, the that's, theory. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Dennis. You're welcome. I'll let you get back to your phone. Thank you. <laughs> to be good, Is that what you call a nibbler? It is, yeah. Yeah, air nibbler. Right, this is Gwen, she's a volunteer at East Kirkby, uh, restoring the Lancaster. Where are you from, Gwen? New, Zeal New Zealand. And whereabouts? Lower North Island. Oh, good. And you're enjoying it over here, are you? Yeah. 
Yeah. Have you got any? You're looking for a regular workout, you know? Apprenticeship would be great. But yeah. Yeah. Trying to get to as many companies as possible. And you want to do it in aircraft engineering? Yeah. Oh, good. So just say hi to your mum and dad, and I will carry on. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Gwen. Aluminium. Yeah. How many teeth do you have on the saw? About oh, 22, 22. Oh, yeah. Obviously, more teeth for it to find in the cutting tip. Yeah, yeah. So I try, and, I try and use a fine one if I can. I'm not into cutting massive big no. lengths with an axe no. saw, do you know what I mean? No, no, the 18s at yeah. the general use is a bit coarse. A bit coarse. Yeah, it would be for this job. Yeah. You drill it all the way down there, I'm supposed to, yeah? Yeah, I change all it. And now I can go in it then and well, let's snap out that. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Did a good job, didn't it? Yeah. So I'll just, I'll just change all them all. I'll get in there now, what's far and put a decent radius on them and then... Good. Blow you on there. Exactly. Your dad was working on this aircraft doing this sort of thing, wasn't he, Terry? Yeah. yeah. What was that, 1950s? Um, he did full aircraft inspection on it when it was at Landau. And he did what they call start up and wave up when it went out to the French. And they went out to Morocco with it from September 52 to end of March 1953. And I started helping out here on end of March 2023, 70 years later. Well done mate. The FN5 turret, which came from Cambridgeshire, used as a donor for the turret rings, reassembled a flash spray and ready to go to the new owner. Hello, oh, I didn't know he was putting this on. I missed this. Kept it quiet. This, this isn't James Turret. No, I know. No. No. That's my new 
alignment is tricky. Might not have to do this one. Might be able to do this one. The repair job's distorted it, has it? Well, I could spray the back as well. As you can see, there's very little room to operate inside these turrets. If you hold it on, I can turn it from this side. Oh, good. Alright, see it there. Is that a good piece of wood? Yeah. Nine days later, three or four stringers left to be removed. I asked John and Keith, what next? Then the cross piece to support the uh, leading edge. What? From the, yeah. oh, the ones yeah, with the cross in it? support across. And from the inside, underneath? Yeah. yeah. It's got to be adjustable so we can yeah. take that and go. Once, once all these strings are off, like that, we'll um, put stuff as something to do. Because mm -hmm. the next thing to take out is the ribs. Yeah. You can't take the ribs out until the last yeah, Until uh, the top. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, we have some more uh, um, stringers made to patch or repair. Um, this is what we've got to look at yeah. because there's an awful lot. Because each one of these stringers, every time, every one you see a circle around, the, 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 the holes are the two big or an awful lot of them. We can, we, we can splice bits in, repair sections in where it's really bad. Yeah. But the problem is, is how many splices can we put into the wing without weakening the structure? And there's that many to do with it? Virtually every one? Virtually every one. There's one, there's one which isn't bad this end. All, all the rest of them are, are rubbish, absolute rubbish. Not good then. Yeah, but they're, they're full length for a reason. Yeah. yeah. Can you still get these made or could you make them? I can get them made, yeah. but it's in America. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's finding somewhere to do them. Yeah, I see. Somebody's got the bed big enough to actually yeah. do that. Would we one sheet and then bend them? No, they're extruded. Oh, they're extrusions, are they? 
So the butter flap sheet through the dies mm. and it comes out the other end of the no, two liquid. Liquid? Yeah, liquid. Oh. Same as you do with plastic, you put it through this. Yeah. You get a die that shapes that. Yeah. And you've got molten material one side of it and it's pressed in with a big piston. And it comes out the other side. Oh. Like Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. You can probably find if you wanted them, probably each one would probably be about two or three grand. And then you've got your freight costs from America. Oh, it's got to be from America, have they? Yeah, they can't make them in this country. Yeah. Yeah, engineering in this country has gone to the dogs, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah. Probably find the only place in Europe that can make them is Airbus. Yeah. Mm. Where do they operate for these sort of things? France or somewhere? France. Yeah. France or Germany. Yeah. But a lot of their stuff's subcontracted anyway, and they're buying from the States. Yeah. You get a big guppy turn up. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? A beluga. Yeah, a beluga. Get yeah. that on the strip. <laughs> so once you've got um, virtually today's work finished, you're at a standstill till the supports come in. Yep. Couldn't it make the supports yourself? Or is that what you're going to do? These? Yeah, I'm going to make myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, with help of certain people. Yeah. yeah somebody can actually weld metal together. Eh? Somebody can weld metal together. Yeah. We can bolt and rivet it, but we can't weld it. No. We could do. We bought one We're of very those laser welders. Oh yeah, anybody can use them. That's and it. Andrew. <laughs> yeah, get a laser welder. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cut. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're cushy, they are. Yeah. No heat. Oh, aren't they? No. no. You weld it, you pick it up with your hand up. As good as that. Yeah, they're amazing. How deep do they cut a Full penetration. And a perfect weld. Every time. You just draw, like, squeeze the trigger and draw a line, and it welds it. None of this arc or anything. It's no. Not that. No. No. no feeder wire or anything. It just so they must have heat to melt the. Yeah, the laser. Right at yeah, the centre point. Yeah, but it's very, very small. Mm. Oh. It's a, basically like a MIG welder, you know, yeah. with, your, with your feeder yeah. on the top and it feeds, feeds the material in to the point that you're where your laser meets yeah and as it hits that the laser melts the material doing and fuses the feeder wire in and then it just feeds it in yeah. as you're going like that They're amazing bits of kit yeah if you look on youtube yeah put, put in laser welder yeah and see the pit the, there's one i watched on there and a bloke he had quarter plate steel Quarter, I was going to say how thick Quarter could plate you... steel and he held one small piece with his hand up against another bit and went like that and let it go. <laughs> I thought bloody hell, I want one of them. <laughs> I'd be welding everything. <laughs> and is that just for steel or would it cover the aluminium? I don't know whether it would weld alley. Yeah. I'm saying you might be able to turn the intensity down. Yeah, yeah. It, and it doesn't destroy the material it's working on, the laser. Melts it, sort of thing. Well, no, it, it just melts it at the point of a laser. Yeah. You, you don't get that yeah. buckling effect that you do with yeah. a MIG or arc yeah. or gas. So it's more or less transmission effect, fabrications then doing heavy welding girders and things like that. Then. Oh, yeah. 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 If it were well quarter plate steel, yeah. just like that. Oh, we'll have one of them then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We want one. Yeah. Right, we're going to chuck this up here. Right, I'll let you lads together.